Welcome. Hi, thank you. Happy to be here. Um, yes, my name is Hannah Harlan. I'm Swedish. I grew up in Sweden, but I've been in the United States for 22 years now, so quite a long time. And I've been a body worker for forever. I started with personal training, dance, um, pretty much what I've learned from all the stuff that I did that was that I was beating the body up a lot. So instead starting to listening to the body and what the body is asking for, um, developed my intuition and um, kind of just gone from there. And it's been really, really a fascinating journey. And so many more things are coming up now too. And understanding that we have a lot of thoughts and a lot of beliefs about things that are learned behaviors and that we have probably picked up from our surroundings, school, parents, this, that, and whatever. And what I tend to do now with my clients and in my own life is to question it all. Question everything that um, we've been taught and what we've bought into to see if it still works for us. And the body knows everything. The intuition, the universe, God, spirit, this, that, whatever you want to call it. To me, it's all the same. And um, there's a tremendous guidance out there if we're just to still and listen and pay attention to all of it. So I was going to start with a little meditation. I know you've probably done quite a few meditations today already, but... Uh, it's just about centering, going in and see if we can clear some space for us to listen to our bodies a little bit better. So if you get comfortable, everyone, and I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to picture yourself in on the beach. Let's do this on the beach. And feel the sand under your feet. Feel the sun shining down on you guys. Warming your skin, energizing your body. You feel the breeze touching your skin. Pay attention to what you can hear. Not to analyze or do anything with it. Just be aware of all your senses. If there's anything you can smell. And just a little bit, I want you to pay attention to what's behind you. Not by turning around and looking at it, but sensing everything that has been behind you and everything that is your past. the energies of it, if it's, if it was fun, peaceful, stressful, painful, who was back there, different people, events, places, emotions. Good. And just feel it. Knowing that you are standing where you're standing right now and everything else is behind you. Good or bad, it's all brought you to where you are today. And slowly, I want you to walk forward, take a few steps and step into the water. Beautiful body of ocean. Mother Nature, the energy coming towards you from every direction, light and uplifting. Now as you take a few more steps into the water, so you have water pretty much up to your knees. And keep walking, so you waist high in water. And as you keep stepping, you can feel how the past is getting a little bit further back. 
are you slowly walking into the vast energy of the ocean? And as you get up towards your neck or chin height, I want you to keep walking to where your head is underwater, but you can't, you can breathe. There is no, I'm holding my breath or anything happen. It's just slowly letting the water come up above your head. And as you get your head underwater, you sense the quiet, the peace, the connectedness of everything that's in there, you included. Submerged, surrounded, embodied in the water. It should be a pretty safe feeling. It's very quiet and nurturing. It's not a rough day at the ocean. And when you're down there, I want you to pay attention to your body. You're feeling the edges of your body. And then I want you to pay attention to your being within the body. Make sure your breathing is relaxed. And if it's not, and there's some tension coming up, just, just be aware of it for a second and then let it go. You don't have to analyze or think or do anything about it. This is your time to be with you fully. So your being is pretty much as large as the ocean. Your body has edges to it, but your being is expansive. And that's what connects us all. That's what makes us all one. See if you can find the peace in your body as you're down there. And while you're still underwater, imagine getting out of the water and back to reality. Not actually doing it. I want you just to see what that brings up in your body. Is it you can't get back there? Or I don't really want to go back there. It's so peaceful and nice staying under here, being connected to my body. Nothing to worry about or whatever else it is that's coming up. Just pay attention to it. All your ideas about what reality is, what life is supposed to be. All the ideas that everyone else have had for you, that life is supposed to be, that you're trying to live up to. As you're still down there in the water, I want you to imagine that from now on, you can create your reality that is true to you. What do you want your life to look like? What do you want your reality to be? And what could your reality be if you didn't have to fit it into someone else's reality? If it was all yours and anything was possible. Everything from the past is now washed away. And it's just you and your body and infinite possibilities. See if you can find a little excitement in your body, sensing that. And when you feel that like you're ready, 
that you have found the curiosity and the interest or whatever it is you want to call it. Say thank you to your body, to the ocean, the sensations, and I want you to slowly walk out. And as your head, eyes get above water, everything is brighter. The sun is shining stronger. All the colors are very, very vivid. And all your senses are heightened. When it comes to people, everything that they're doing is just happening around you. It's not you. You can really, really feel your body and what it is that's going on and what it is that's true for you and what it is that you're wanting from this, from this life, from this body and from a human experience. Take a deep breath when you're all the way out of the water. Feel your shoulders relaxing, sand under your feet, and then you have a good footing in the sand and on this planet to step in every which direction you now want to go in. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Is everyone okay? Can't hear anything. Uh, are you guys okay? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> so there's one very to me. It's very important tool that I absolutely love, and it's uh, the light or heavy universe. A lot of the tools I do use are based in Axis Consciousness, created by Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane Muir and a bunch of different things. And then I'm turning it all into with my own little twist on it and what works for me and my environment and my clients. But the yes, no universe has to do with what feels light for you and what feels heavy for you. So it's a tool that you can use for anything, no matter what you do. If it's you go into the grocery store and what is, what is it that your body is requiring nutrition wise or if it's a good or a bad apple, maybe your body doesn't want it. If it's not a good one, it's not going to benefit to it. So what you would do is ask yourself, everything goes through the question, body, what would you like? Body, would you like this? And if the answer is yes, I'm sure many of you have done this with different things. It's kind of a kinesiology. Um, you get a sort of a expansive feeling. It's kind of like a, out like a yes, a lighter feeling to it. And if it's a no, or it's not true, it's more like a, a little heavy, a little contraction and a little back feeling to it. And that's what I use with everything. So if there's something you're about to do, you can ask your body, body is this gonna create greater for me and for you and for the universe? And you will get the yes it is, or no it's not. And let me see what I'm it could also be a timing thing. So is this now that I'm supposed to do this or should I do this later? Once you got the yes, no, you, yes, no universe and the heavy light, it's pretty much just following the energy and your body and your universe now with everything that you do. So that's one of my favorite tools. What is it that I'm supposed to eat? Should I go that way? Is there something I need to tell someone? Should I not tell someone that? Or with anything? Should I work out? How should I work out? Body, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to stretch? Do you want to lift weights? Do you want to go for a swim? Do you want to take a nap? Whatever it is. And see what it is. And just always follow the universe. This is your guidance. And if the energy says yes, and it's a lightness to it, follow it. This is like, this is what life is about. And sometimes we can't understand it and we don't know what it is. We can't analyze it and we can't find the answer or even see um, the perfection of what we want it to be. But the universe is not going to guide us wrong. Because what it's going to do, it's going to open up for another choice. So if you have the lightness of it, 
you will go with it and then you just keep asking something else will show up if we try to have all the answers or even trying to find an answer we can only create or bring in things with our already limited thinking like you can only bring if you're trying to find the answer you can only find the answer from what it is that you already know compared to being in the question where you would ask what is this going to create for me and what should i do and then let the universe guide you it sounds very simple and it actually is very simple but it takes a little practice to get comfortable with it possibly and uh but it works it's magical another one so the belief system that we do get um if there any tension at all in your life or in your body it could be tension as in a achiness or tweaks in your body or if there's a, a daughter or a husband or a friend or someone that's do having some sort of tension with you guys know the tension i'm talking about something that just doesn't feel right something that stirs something up in us and what what is the belief system that you have about the way it should be is it a lot of times it's being right about something and or we're taking on that we think that is something we're supposed to do with it instead of just being an observer and seeing what it is that's happening um the belief systems is another thing where you need to ask is this belief system serving me this is something this is something i've always done we call it our personality and something that we do and who we are but it's something we create when we're young obviously and it depends on how our parents treated us and how whatever we got attention for because whatever we got attention for as children tends to be the things that we keep on recreating but it's just to check and to see if it keeps if it works is it working for you or is there another possibility here and what is what's another thought that i can have that's going to make this feel lighter and easier for me so instead of trying to find a right or wrong answer it's like what's going to work for me here what's going to work for my body and what's going to work for my environment so and one other tool who does this belong to and a lot of times we're very intuitive beings a lot of things come up and we need to pay attention to if it's ours or are we sensing someone else's it sounds simple and it really is that simple but we don't pay attention to it and if we're not aware of it or ask the question we take everything on like it's ours every tension from where you've been you could have taken on the tension that someone had in the elevator next to you or what your sister has so what you feel like should be done and all these different things um who does it belong to would just be you finding the emotion in your body whatever it is the tension is holding and you would ask who does this belong to and does it belong to me more times than not it's going to be a this doesn't belong to me and then you just clears it that's how simple it is if you know that it doesn't belong to you and something you just picked up on it will go away in about a split second that's how fast it is um i wanted to do a little bit of an interactive if there is there anyone that has any tension and i would like to it's pretty basic not like any major like overhaul of your life necessarily for now but have any tension that would like to bring it up and see if we can go with a question to see where we can find ease with it anyone or should we use an example i can do yeah great what's your name selma hi selma hi so where you're talking, in your you're life talking, you're talking about the body feelings or also emotions emotions situations people life anything anything you have that where it's not ease in your body or in your life so where do you not have ease in your life or in your body uh, i think it's uh, uh, around my husband my beautiful okay. loving husband yeah 
And what is the, what's the ten intensity that comes up? What's the feeling? It's That's big. not ease. It's big. It's big? Yeah. But what is, can you, can you say more about what it is? The, the, the emotion or the feeling or the, it could be an event, a person, a color, anything else too. But it's like we have different temperaments. We have different likings. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like we're going in different to different places and it's hard to meet somewhere. So are you wanting him to fit into the way he works for you? Or are you trying to make yourself fit into work with him? Or are neither one of you guys trying? No, I think for many years I tried to fit in, but I understand it's not something that I can do anymore yeah. for years now. But also it's like trying to accept him as he is. And still mm -hmm. there's like this, this thing that's like I'm not happy about because there's like it's we have like different lives, we do different things, we like different things. So just feel the energy for a second in your body if you take a deep breath and then picture accepting your husband and see what that feels like. And picture the feeling of having allowance for your husband. Can you feel a difference at all? Well, I don't exactly know what you mean when you say allowance. Okay. okay. So allowance is us allowing people to be who they are. With yeah. us just observing it and not having to do a change or think or believe anything about it. You know what I mean? When we say accept, accept is kind of like, a, it's almost a little bit of a defeat to it. It's kind of like, okay, I got to accept this. Do you know what I mean? I don't really like it, but I need to accept it. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. I've been trying to do all of this for a long so, time. So imagine the allowance. Imagine allowance it's is like, let opening him, up let of energy. Be. Let him be, yes? It's well, like, it's, it's you being you and not having a judgment or an opinion or really about who he is and just seeing what it works for you. So the allowance opens up for possibilities and allowance has also an energy that goes out a lot. Allowance is kind of like expansive and accepting. It's like, okay, I've got to accept this. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't have a choice. It takes everything out of it. Allowing is just, let me see who he truly is with because I've probably looked at him with a lot of stuff from the past. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He yeah. had said this, he had done this, and I've experienced this, and this is how it made me feel, and everything that goes with it. Mm -hmm. So if you take a deep breath, would you be willing right here, right now, to destroy and uncreate everything that has happening, happened between you and your husband so far? Oh, that's a very good idea. Right now. It's all choice. Everything is choice. And it's all up to you if you want to do it or not. But imagine it. Imagine doing it for you. You know what I mean? You're not necessarily yeah. doing it for him or even for the relationship. This is for the tension that you are carrying in your body about it. And just feel it getting washed away. Destroy and uncreate all points of use all the past, judgment, experiences, feelings, emotion, all of it. And as you open your eyes, good, imagine having allowance. And more importantly, having allowance for you. Having allowance for you to be who and what you want to be. And just being an observer of what's going on around you. Imagine watching him to see who he truly is without the stuff from the past. If you were to just now open your eyes and see him, what would you notice about him? What would you want to do with him? Like, what would you guys, what fun could you have? <laughs> Can you feel the energy being a little different? Well, I, I feel that often that I am fun and want to do like dance or 
go to the beach or do things and he's like doesn't want to or he, i want to have sex he doesn't want to right so are you allowing yourself to do all of that for you uh, or yeah. are you yeah. yes you're still doing it so you're not stopping yourself from doing all of those things no no that's fast <laughs> yeah maybe i could do more of it so what part of you are you cutting off to make the relationship work um, cutting off not not being all of you is kind of what i mean by that um, nothing a little piece of you a lot of you yeah, I think a little piece. A little bit. Maybe more and I'm not, I don't think so, but I don't know. So you were showing here before, is this where you feel it? You know, it's, if... it's a combination of the stomach area and my heart. So stomach area tends to be what we're not digesting and what we're not accepting. So what is it that you might not be accepting with what it is that's going on with you, with you guys together, with him? Well, there's a part of me who wants him different. And I'm, I, I know this is stupid, but I haven't been able to get rid of it for many years now, you know? I mean, I know it's ridiculous and it doesn't serve any purpose, but, it, but I have, yeah, it's hard to to put myself in a different uh, perspective or situation. Sometimes it's a little better and then it goes mm -hmm. back, you know? It's like, a, I mean, it's in, a, in getting better, but it's, sometimes I go like in a tango. What if uh, you could change you? Well, that I've been doing for a long time and getting better at it. Yeah. <laughs> Because you wanted to, to make the relationship work. No, no, no. It doesn't have to do with him. Right. Because you want to, right. Is yeah. there a way that you could change for the relationship to work? And for it to work for you too, obviously? Oh, we have to stop this. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, I'm asking him for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Just a few more minutes. So doing the destroying and creating everything that your relationship has been every single day what, creates what? new possibilities. Yeah. Destroying and uncreating everything that your relationship has been every single oh, day. How do you do that? You just ask for it. Okay. This is, there's, there's no magic to it. This is our, this is our infinite beings possibilities we just ask for it so it's pretty much i am gonna destroy and uncreate everything that is has been take a deep breath and just kind of feel it wash off of you i i want to and, write it, i want to write it down and another thing to ask when it comes to that change do you know what, yeah you destroy place again destroy destroy and uncreate yeah, yes. Everything that the relationship has been up until today. You can even do it as in destroy and uncreate everything that I have been before today, which gives you a clean slate to be and do and whoever you want to be every single day. Yes. To get rid of the set point of use and bring up allowance for life, what it is that you're looking for, allowance for you to be you, allowance for him to be him, and allowance for the relationship to turn into whatever it might change into now. Yes. And what do you want to do with it? Another fun little question could be, repeat that please. Um, what did I just say? <laughs> uh, the allowance for everyone to be who they're supposed to be and 
every single moment, it's a new choice. Everywhere we function from set point of views, question it. Is this working for me? Whatever it is I'm upset about, whatever it is I want to say, whatever it is that's coming up and it's creating any tension, um, is this working? Can I, what, where am I not having allowance for this? And what is right about this that I'm not getting? Do you know what I mean? I don't, we have a set, I don't understand. What, what is right about it that you're not getting? What is, is there something? Yeah. Things are happening. The way the universe works, there's no mistakes. Do you know what I mean? Oh, of course. Things are happening the way it should be happening and everything is just in perfect way it is. Doesn't mean we can't change it. There's not like a destined where we're not in control of it. We have choices all the time, but what is right about it that you're not getting? Sometimes we're in situations and it happens to be that because I'm in this situation, I'm bringing up this awareness and that is making me do something or change something or be something or let go of something. So it creates another ease in it. Everything that I want to give you tools about is what can bring ease in situations? And it's yeah. all of these different questions. Different questions can work for different things, but it's mm -hmm. like, what is right about it that I'm not getting? I'm sure you can find a way where it's like, maybe it's kind of nice for you to do things by yourself. Maybe you don't want to always be, I'm just, I'm just creating an example, but it's something that is right about it that you're not getting. And if you can find that, it will create like a, oh yeah, that's true. That is kind of nice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's easy that we're looking for what's wrong and that's for, for whatever it is. But what is it that's right about it? Like, what is it that's working for me? To find the ease and then the allowance. Another one is interesting points of view. This is probably my absolute favorite. Interesting points of view, or that's interesting, however you want to put it. Anything that happens, anything he says, anything someone does, it's like you be their observer and it's, well, that's interesting. Not in a that's interesting, like yeah. saying it to them with a judgment attached. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, well, that's interesting because I know I'm right. It's more of a, that's an interesting point of view. I didn't have that point of view, but I'm not saying that I'm right in my point of view. We all have different point of views and we all do what works for us or maybe doesn't work, but it's still our choice. So looking at what he's doing or not doing, if you could just be in your body and be like, oh, that's an interesting point of view. That's interesting. You're going to take away all the judgment and all the tension out of your body. Even if nothing is changing, you are changing with it. Yes. And you really, can you feel it? If you were to say that to yourself, not to him, it's just internally, say it to yourself or feel it. It's like, well, that's interesting that this is the kind of relationship that I have. Well, that's interesting. And it's interesting with zero judgment. And another way to work that same statement is to, if something comes up and you get really annoyed or really bothered or sad or upset or whatever it is, it's like interesting points of view that I have this point of view. Interesting point of view that I have the point of view that I'm right. Interesting point of view that I have the point of view that he's wrong interesting point of view that I have the point of view that this isn't supposed to happen. Yeah. Like it's just an interesting point of view and you can say it, if you say it over and over, it's like, well, that's interesting point of view, mm -hmm. interesting point of view, interesting point of view. Say that five to 10 times. And suddenly it's kind of like, Oh, like the tension just drops because you realize that the decision or the belief that you had that that was right or that was wrong kind of dissipates it's just all energy and if you find the lightness in it with letting go of the tension yes. things will change around you everything changes yes it's only our set point of views and our beliefs and what we think something is right that keeps us stuck yeah if we and that is the tension that we feel in our bodies and in our life and if we can let go of that we will change and pretty much everything around us will change as well 
because it's an ease and a lightness and a it's just wonder in that because you're an observer it's like well now what now what's going to happen do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so take a deep breath and feel your body now thinking about your relationship with your husband more relaxed right a little mm -hmm. bit more ease right because you're kind of just clearing out all the stuff that has been blocking what's really there or what could be there mm -hmm. so good thank, thank you. you thank you thank you that was a great example i have to say thank you to everybody and thank you Ginat and the <laughs> The, about the forum, uh, but I have to leave. He has a, a, a lecture now on, in Zoom. <laughs> so I have to leave my studio. <laughs> Thank you very much to everybody. Shana Tova, good year. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. This is our video. So does anyone have any questions about that? Or did you come up with your own examples that you might be able to use the same tools with? Which might not be your husband, it could be something else in your life. No? I don't know if I can see or hear anything here. Yeah. You guys there? What was the name of the, I, I don't know if it was a book that you mentioned by Gary Douglas, something that you really liked? Love it, love it, love it. Access Consciousness. Act of Consciousness? A access, Access. Access Consciousness. Oh, Access Consciousness. Access Consciousness, absolutely amazing. I've done it so many modalities and I've been on the search for things forever and ever and ever. I just came across this maybe a few years ago and it's uh, it's just about being in the questions and opportunities and not having a stuck thought or belief about anything. It's it's absolutely yeah, amazing. Once you, or... It's a modality. It's um, They do have a bunch of books that you can find on Amazon and Gary Douglas. They have classes and teachings and stuff too. But I have, since I found the questions and all of this, it's, I've used it a lot on myself and on my clients. I also do energy work with my people, but uh, asking questions and see what comes up in the awareness. It's just about trusting ourselves and trusting our body and not believing that we have to fit in with this reality saying. It's like, what is true for me? What's gonna work for me and my body? It's like, you don't find an answer. You just ask your body and then you get a sensation with it. And it's, once you do that, it's the lightness that I'm talking about, the ease that you can find in your body and life that comes with it. Because anytime we have tension in our body, it's because we have a stuck thought about something. And it's a thought that's probably not working so well for you. Well, there wouldn't be tension. Does that make sense? Thank you. Okay. All right. So I, my time up. Dina? I think so, unless anyone has uh, last questions. It's a wonderful opportunity. And I really appreciate Selma that she was really will expose I know. her issues, her life. And to any one of us, yeah, it's really nice. So this is an opportunity for anybody. We have a few minutes left. If there's something that you really would like to unburden and get some guidance, here's a, a wonderful opportunity. I know I plan on doing another meditation, but I figured an example of what it is and how you can use the questions would be a better use of time. I agree. I agree. Yeah. It's wonderful work. Well, then, uh, if, if there's no final questions, then it is for me just to thank you and uh, thank you. give you my appreciation and my, my, my biggest Sarah, did you have a question? Sarah? <laughs> I don't think so. Bye-bye. Oh.